Steelhead side. On the Salmon King side, Milan Geich at Michigan, Ryan Turek at Michigan State, Matt Stefanician at uh, Ferris State, and Matt Sedol at Northern Michigan. How about that? We got Lake Superior. Yep, Steve Alexi is oh, a bucket. Poked oh, in on the Steelhead's goal, and they score. Peter Vandermeer picked up a rebound and banged the puck home, and the Victoria Salmon Kings an early one to nothing lead. Peter Vandermeer, the longtime veteran with over 4,000 penalty minutes in his professional hockey career, pokes one home. Definition and Vandermeer led the half wall for Drulego. Down low, Lassar to the front of the net. More out of the door. Stephanie's denied by Riley. Scores. Pokes in Lassar. Pull the loose puck in the steel. Head scored. To the, to the ice with Mark Oh, he got another. Oh, that one went into the bench, Dougie. All right, here we go. Here's Mark Bro's toss. Mark is going to throw his lady mug on. Uh, one. Two. Mark Bro's. One. Two. Three. Go, lady mug. Made it. Yes. You made it, Mark. The annual Marine Corps and Tories for Tots, Teddy Bear Toss, Junior Lassard with the goal, and the game is tied. There goes the Big Bear, or no, Big uh, Dog. Up the left wing, long pass. He was looking for Stephanie, who, again, hits Cody Lample. It was a little bit off to the numbers region on the jersey. Peter Vandermeer, the end of Steelhead's territory. Lample took a good angle on Vandermeer, steered him off to the boards. Vandermeer stays with the puck near point. Martin across the line. Ryan Turk a shot and they score off the goalpost. Went over the line and that'll put Victoria on top 2-1. I tell you what, Peter Vandermeer made that happen even though he was thwarted on his opportunity darting into the zone, stayed with the puck, forced it off the boards, kept it in the offensive zone. Martin went across to Turek after receiving the pass and Vandermeer is going to have an assist on that. Not the hardest shot, just kind of squeak through there, change of direction. Can't blame the goalie on that. Ludwig got shot through traffic, same man, a rebound, he scores! Mark Durlego, the game is tied up! Welcome back on the ticket in Mark Durlego, he scores for an incredibly sharp angle. How he got that one into the net, I don't know. That's one of those goals that maybe only Mark Durlego and a select few other guys are able to score. That's exactly it. He's, he, that's a goal, you know what they say, that's a goal scorer's goal. That wasn't luck. He aimed it there and put it home upstairs. Look where this rebound is picked up. And that's not, that's... It's over the top of his right it's not shoulder. even on the hand that you would think would be the easiest to score. Down to the corner, Durlego. Far boards, Kale Moeller at two assists tonight. Slides it down to Durlego in front of the net. He tries to settle it. The Moeller at and he scores! Kale Moeller A power play goal of the Steelheads. Take a 3-2 lead. With the go-ahead goal. What well, a sheer determination by the Steelheads keeping the puck alive down deep. And Delego just moves it over and they're able to slide it home. Always in the right place, Kale Morat. For the faceoff or perhaps it won't. No, it won't. Near point, Ryan Turek. The body language said timeout. Didn't happen. It sure looked like that. Net empty at the Victoria end. 3-2. Steelheads on top here in the third. 1.15 to go. Matt Sedol. Left point for the Salmon Kings. Backhand pass across. Held in by Ryan Turek. Top of the circle for Tim Krause. A low shot. Zacharias to save the rebound. Rolls around in the circle. And it'll be cleared out by Mark Durlego. To the center circle, Sedol has it for Victoria. He'll dump it right back in on Zacharias. Pressure comes in. Zacharias plays it. Off to the near boards, Vandermeer will keep it in. Pete Vandermeer, near half wall, up top, Turk across the line, and it'll land on the stick of Michael Wilson. Center of the blue line, Turk off for Wilson again, a low shot. Through traffic, and pinballs around, sent off to the far boards. Wilson, moving into the front of the net, they score. Getting his stick on that puck to tie the game. Looks like it was Matt Sedol. 
3-3, 36 seconds to go here in the third. Michael Wilson, a very good job holding that puck in, fired it to the front, said all looks like he got a stick on it. If anything, he was able to, he and Peter Vandermeer were able to take enough of Zacharias' attention right there to divert him. And not, did Siddall even get a stick on it? I don't that. think so. You're the fourth time the referee's been hit with the puck tonight. Rick Looker needs to start to look out as Gabinette down the left wing side. Tries to come in the zone, and this time it hits the linesman, and Geich is going to go back the other way. Geich tries to come in, and he loses the puck as Alexi plays the body on him. This officiating crew having a bad night for pucks. As Cleaver picks up the puck at center, he's going to play it on the left side to Atherton, takes it on the back end, puts the brakes on, feeds it out in front. It's knocked down. Geich gets hauled down, down the right wing side comes Cody Lample. No goals on the air, comes in, lets a shot go. And there's going to be a penalty upcoming here. Sights it and lets a blast go. That goes off Martin. Comes down on the left side. Mulrad has it. Delayed penalty to the Salmon Kings. Tardy will feed it over on the right side. Shot over front. Tip save. Sits to the side of the net. They jam away. But Chuck falls back and somehow keeps the puck out of the net. Are you kidding me? Game saving save by David Schatz. How he stopped that I do not know. Puck sitting in the crease. Molak coming down. Open chance to tap it in. And somehow Schatz falls back on it right before the Idaho sniper can get it in. It goes off of Schatz's back, off the post, and under the arm of Schatz. Holy cow. You've got to be kidding me. How that did not go in, I do not know. But somehow there's a power play now in overtime for the Steelheads, and they're going to take a timeout, 2.11 to go. P.J. Atherton in the box. We'll be back in 30 seconds, folks. He's got a little bit of speed, comes straight in. Shot off the crossbar. Payne show two attempts on the year in the shootout. Two crossbars. Durlego will step in. You'd think he'd be lights out in the shootout, but he's 0 for 3 on the year. He's going to come in on shots here. Now there's a little debris out in front. There's too much snow, I guess. So The referee does some housekeeping. As Durlego picks up the puck, he's going to move to the right-hand side. Shots well to his net. Fakes the shot. Moves to the forehand. Now he gets a shot away. Goes off the mask of shots. Easy save as Durlego would put himself well out of position. Siddle will come out. 0 for 2 on the night, or 0 for 2 on the year on the shootout, but he has the tying goal. Leading goal scorer comes straight in, fakes the shot, lifts it. Oh, Zacharias gets over, makes the left pass save. John Scott Dixon will come out for Hardy Sauter's team. First Shootout attempt of the year, did not score. Here's number two. As Dixon will pick it up, he comes to the left-hand side, moves to the slot, shot off the post. So a post for the Steelheads, a crossbar for the Santa Kings, and it stays 0-0. And here comes Milan Geich, one for two on the shootout. The only Salmon King to score in the shootout this year. And he's going to pick up the puck. He's coming straight in on Zacharias. Shot, club save. As it goes off the glove of Zacharias. And he makes the save to keep it scoreless to this point. Tyler Ludwig now. He's coming out first shootout attempt of the year. As Ludwig comes in, goes to the forehand shot, save made by Schantz. So he goes for 0 for 1 on the year. Tim Krause is going to step out. Krause comes in with Ontario. No shootout attempt, so this will be his first one of the year. Krause picks up the puck. He's going to go to the right-hand side. Cuts into the slot. Goes backhand. Right pad save made by Zacharias. John Swanson gets the call for the Steelheads. Two for four on the year in the shootout. One shootout winner as he picks it up. He's going to come to the left wing side. 
Cuts in, takes the shot, now lets one go, but shots closes the door. As he puts the pads together, Swanson trying to go five hole. Rick Cleaver, 0 for 2 on the year. Coleman made an unbelievable save on him in Alaska. As it looked like Cleaver had scored, and he's going to come in now, and he lets a shot go off the right pad. Five shooters, no goals for the Salmon Kings. Junior Lassard will come in now. Lassard, this will be his first attempt at the shootout this year. As this is only his fifth game with the Steelheads. Former Hobie Baker Award winner comes in on John. Slap shot. We'll try and get it done for the Salmon Kings. First shootout attempt of the year. As Turek's going to come straight in. Now he moves a little to the left. Walks in. Shot. Scores! Ryan Turek goes top shelf. Walker's side. And Marty Flickle gets the call. The captain. He needs to score here. He's one for five on the year in the shootout. He picks it up with lots of speed, comes straight in on shots, shot, saved by shots, and you can put it in the wind column. The Salmon Kings get a come-from-behind victory, a goal with 36 seconds remaining in the game, and then they close it out in the shootout. David Schott, six saves in the shootout. He gets... 29 saves on the game, and the Salmon Kings head to Utah with a split coming out of Idaho. Folks, we'll be right back with your three-star selection and your final.